Hey guys, we're going to work on 2.2, um, whoops, sorry, 2.2, and what we're doing is just analyzing graphs. So there's not a lot, but we're going to go a little bit fast. So here we go. If you look at the graph, where is f of 0 and where is f of 6? So 0 and 6 are both x's, so I'm going to go to x equals 0 and look at what the output is. The output's going to be 0. We can write that as an ordered pair of 0, 0 if we want. At 6, the output is 0. Okay, we're going to look at B here. Uh, I'm not going to be able to move this. Okay, there we go. Okay, what is the range of F? The lowest value is in the y is negative 2. The upper value of y is 3. Can we equal these values? Yes, so we get brackets. You can also write this as negative 2 is less than or equal to x, sorry, y, and is less than or equal to positive 3. Okay, f of 2 is negative 2. So we go to 2 down to negative 2. f of negative 2 is at 1. The x-intercepts, so anything that intersects with the x-axis, that is at x equals 0, 4, and 6. Okay, next, we're going to do, if, uh, is f of 3 positive or negative? f of 3 at x equals 3. 3, the output is negative. F, what is the y-intercept? The y-intercept is when the graph um, touches the y-axis, so that would be 0, comma 0, or we say the y-intercept is y equals 0. So it, at f of negative 1, is the graph positive or negative? So f of negative 1, I'm going to go to negative 1 here. That's my x value. Is the y positive or negative? It looks like we're going up, so positive. How often does the graph intersect the line y equals negative 1? So at negative 1, that's a horizontal line. that would be like this. How often does the graph intersect? Twice. Okay. For what values of, uh, so what values of x is f of x equal to 0? So that means when the y is equal to 0, so that means right here, when the y is equal to 0, what values of x? That's when x is equal to 0, 4, and 6. Same as our x-intercepts. Next, we have how often does the, li the line y equal, sorry, x equals 1 intersect the graph? So x equals 1 is vertical. That's going to be right here. It's going to intersect one time or once. Okay. Uh, for what values of x is f of x greater than 0? So that means when is y greater than 0? So we actually use x values to help us um, figure that out. You look at the graph. When is it above the x-axis? It's at these points. So from negative 4 to 0, so negative 4 to 0, and, sorry, it's or, or, 4 to 6, so when x is equal to 4 or, or to 6. So for what values of x does f of x equals 3? And that would be, I'm going to draw, uh, is x, f of x equals 3, is that a vertical or a horizontal line? Since it's y equals 3, technically, we, it's going to be a horizontal line. And that's one time, so when x is equal to 5. Remember, that was our maximum. All right, let's see. It doesn't like that. Okay, so what is the domain of f? That's from negative 4 to 6. So from negative 4 to 6, and the endpoints are solid, so included, or you can say negative 4 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 6. 
for what values of x does f of x equal negative 2? That technically is y equals negative 2. So it's going to be down here. The graph only intersects that line one time. So that's x is equal to 2. All right, we're going to look at the next equation. So this time we're going to look at x plus 2 over x minus 6. This is a rational function. So how could I test if the point negative 1, 2 is on the graph? And I am going to plug it in. So I'm going to do f of negative 1, the x, is equal to 2. Okay. So I'm going to do 2 equals, anywhere there's an x, I'm going to plug in the negative 1. So negative 1 plus 2 over negative 1 minus 6, which gives me 1 over negative 7. Do, does this calculation equal 2? No, so this point is not on the graph. Not on the graph. Okay. Let's move on to B. So what is the domain of F? Since the bottom is the part that's going to be an issue, the top is a linear equation, so we don't have any problems there. We're going to set the bottom equal to, to 0 because that calculation cannot equal 0. Okay. So X equals 6 is the value that doesn't work. When I plug in 6, I get a broken function. If x equals negative 2, what is f of x? So at what point is, and what point is that on the graph? So remember this is, um, sorry, this should say, okay, we're going to skip this one. Okay, list the x-intercepts, if any, of the graph. The x-intercepts are when it's, so, whoa. Let's delete you. Okay, it's some number, comma zero. So it's when our y is zero. So I'm going to do letter D down here. So I'm going to use f of x is equal to zero. So zero is equal to x plus two over x minus six. Okay. I'm going to get rid of my denominator by multiplying both sides by x minus six. Anything times zero is zero leaving me with x plus 2, and then subtract 2 from both sides, so x is equal to negative 2. That's my x-intercept. So when x is equal to negative 2, I'm going to write that as a point, so negative 2 comma 0. All right, next. So if f of x is negative 2, what is x? So this time, my y value is equal to negative 2. So for letter E, I'm going to do f of x is equal to negative 2. So I'm going to do negative 2 is equal to my function, which is x plus 2 over x minus 6. And I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by negative 6. Or sorry, x minus 6. So I get those cancel. 2x plus 12 is equal to x plus 2. And then we can combine our terms. So add 2x on both sides. And I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, giving me 3x is equal to 10. So x is equal to 10 thirds, or 3.3 bar. And that is that. Okay, so that would be 10 over 3 is my x, and my y is negative 2. Okay, so list the y-intercept if there is one of the graph. So the y-intercept is always 0 comma something, so when x is 0. So I'm going to figure out, I'm going to change the color here. So f would be f of 0 is equal to x plus 2 over x 
minus 6. So I'm going to plug in 0 for x. 0 plus 2 over 0 minus 6, which is 2 over negative 6. I can divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2, giving me 2 divided by 2 is 1 over negative 3. So my y-intercept would be negative 1 third. We can write that as a point of 0, negative 1 third. Okay, we're done.